All right. So with the Spurs getting the number one overall pick, you got me thinking. I want I want to get your opinion on this stuff. What is like what is like the the line of player that you would stop at as far as like would I rather have women Yama or this player? Okay. So I'm gonna just I'm just say a few ones. Most of these to start, I probably know your answer already. But you know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just I'm gonna just start it out. So Carl Anthony Towns. One Benyama. Therese Halliburton. Wemby. Zion Williamson. Still Wemby. Brandon Ingram. Still Wemby. Jalen Brunson. Still Wemby. <laughs> Anthony Edwards. Still Wemby. Okay, 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 okay. Let's make it, let's make it a little bit more difficult. De'Aaron Fox. S- still Wemby. Okay. John Am I Moran. looking at this like just for the Spurs or just in general? Like any team has a number one pick. Like would you just trade any team has a number one pick? pick? Okay, any team has a number one pick. John Morant. Off course stuff aside, just to yeah. play. <laughs> say, say he cleans up his act. Mm-hmm. Say, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, buckles it up. You know, he he's he's not doing that gun stuff no more. Just as a player, as a talent, John Morant. Ugh, that's a tough one. Um. Am I wilding if I still say Wemby? For John, nah. nah. I, Honestly. I feel like, I don't know, I, I, I just <laughs> I got to take Wemby. I need to see it. That's why I'm so excited for Summer League. Like, I need to see how translatable this is about to be to the NBA. What, what I would say with this one specifically with John Moran, I'd take Wemby as well. Mm-hmm. I just think that, so I think that, He's getting all this hype for a reason, obviously. Like, I think as a talent perspective, I don't see a world where he's a bust as a talent. Like, I just think his skill set, mm-hmm. like, at worst, he's what, Anthony Davis? Like, at worst, I feel like. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is like, he's a can't miss guy. The, the seven biggest... foot five rim protector. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that like, as a talent, he cannot be a bust, in my opinion. The biggest concern is his injuries. Right. I feel like there's also injury concern with John Morant as well. It's like, He's a high flying guard. A lot of times you yeah. see they have end up having knee problems or whatever, mm-hmm. and their career doesn't really translate like later into the career. So, or their play style doesn't translate, excuse me. So, my opinion, I take Wimby over John Moran. So, you're not bugging for that one. Okay. Donovan Mitchell. We were reaching that, that tier of player where it's like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still taking Wimby. I take Wimby as well. I love Donovan. That's my guy. I love Donovan Mitchell. All right. Shea Gildress Alexander. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's young, too. He's young. Averaging young to like 30-plus points a yeah. game. First team All-NBA, Shea. Six six guard. I'm trying to put myself in the mindset of a GM. Like, I just got the number one pick. And the thug, I look at my phone. It's the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll give you Shay. Shay. But Wimby, straight up. Ah, man. I still got to take Wimby. Ah. I still got to take Wimby. Yo. Like, it, feels, it just feels wrong. If you're not giving me, like, Giannis, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, it's tough. With that one. Hmm. So yeah, I agree with you with all these passions. Like I would have took Wimby over all them guys. With this one, uh, Shay, I think makes sense. Like I, I, it, I could, I could see myself doing it just because he's still young. Like he's proven. So it's like you don't even really have the question factor of like just because you've seen him do it already, right? Mm-hmm. And he's only gonna get better. So it's like that is the that's thing. the one where it's like, oh. yeah, I could I could take Shay in that that situation. I, I personally, I probably would still keep Wemby, but like, I wouldn't wouldn't fault having that trade happen. My thing is right. I feel like because Wemby is still a big man. I know he plays on a perimeter like a guard, but he's still a like big man. And most of the time in history, let's even look at the Nuggets, right? 
with Jokic. Jokic is killing it. Jokic is like obviously he's already an all time great. It seems like as far as like a talent perspective, mm-hmm. even with the best big men like ever, the best big men to play in the league, you still need a guard to kind of close out the game for the most part. Like look at the game. Uh, the Lakers was a game two. The Nuggets game game two. You always had a great game, but Jamal Murray closed that game. Yeah, out, you know I mean, yeah. that guard was the guy, Kobe and Shaq. Shaq was so dominant. Fourth quarter time, it was Kobe. It's Giannis Kobe. and Chris Middleton. Giannis, that's what I'm saying. And Shay is like, bro, he's... Oh, that's so tough. Damn, that's so tough. I'm going with me. I, I said all that, but I just... The upside is it's too, too much. Crazy. I'm sorry. The upside is too crazy, man. I watch uh. his games and my jaw just drops on the floor. This mm. is it looks like 2K. It doesn't look real. It looks fake. Bro, you remember them uh was it 2K 16 like little demigods <laughs> running around in the park? That's what he looks like. He looks like one of those. Yep. It uh. does not it does not make sense. All right. Damian Lillard. <laughs> if I was a team that had a decent enough cast around it, maybe realistically though, I'd still take Wemby. If if, if Dame did not getting Dame did not make him a championship contender, I'm taking Wemby. I'm taking yeah, I'm taking Dame. And then, mind you, this is to be like the best player on your team, basically. Okay. Like so, I'm taking I'm taking um. No disrespect to Dame, I'm taking Wemby, but I don't. I don't know for sure if Dame could be like a number one on a championship guy. I think you can get far with him. But like a clear cut, like number one. Like say you have like Damian Little and like a who's like a good like Jalen Brown. I don't think you win the championship with that. I think you could if you got a good cast. You would have to have like a Boston Celtics great supporting cast around you, I think. Which yeah. is obviously possible, but um, yeah, I think I'll take Wimby. Devin Booker. You just saw what he did. <laughs> you just saw what Devin Book did in the playoffs. Ah, oh, man. But I can't even, like, if I ain't take Shea, I can't take the book. Facts. <laughs> I was looking at their book right next to each other. Wimby. <laughs> just because of, like, in terms of, like, how good the book is, how good Shea is, plus they're both younger. Like, like D book just now entering his prime. Shea has time before he even gets to that 26, 27 year prime beginning. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, if I didn't take Shea, I gotta take gotta take one B here still. Anthony Davis. One B. I think that one was kind of easy. Um I'm saving this one. <laughs> Just because I feel like it's an interesting one. Kawhi Leonard. Right now I'm taking one B. Yeah. Easily. Kawhi. Yeah. If, if Kawhi could stay healthy, I'd take Kawhi. But he just he can't stay healthy. Oh my God. I just scored up. We got some. All right. Jimmy Butler. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, man. That's Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's young MJ, bro. You see what he's doing. I still gotta take Wemby. Just off it's almost just age alone at this point. Like if you are not sub 26, 25. I'm just gonna take one B. So with that being said, LeBron James. <laughs> Definitely one B. One B gonna yeah. get a shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Chill out. Yo, ease up, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill out, chill out, chill out. But now, nah, bro, I've seen like um because obviously I've seen like uh people do like this video like this before, but in the, the conversation LeBron came up. People act like it was disrespectful to take Wimby over LeBron. LeBron is 38, 38 years old. You're only getting what? Maybe at best case scenario, two more years of him being what the tenth best player in the league right now. Right. What are you talking about, bro? Like that that one's yeah. not even hard. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <sighs> Luka Doncic, give me Luka. Oh, the first time, no Wimby. So we're not concerned about Luka defense. We just we taking Luka. That's all I'm. No, listen. I could be agreeing with you. I'm just trying to, you know, play devil's advocate a little bit. No, it, it's again, it's just like we're at that level of skill and age. Like, and then you don't, again, you don't have to worry about the injuries as much. You don't have to worry about how is it going to translate. Like, I know, I know what I'm getting from Luca. I'll take Luca. 
Jason Tatum. I wait, I've time on that before you answer that. I gotta give my answer as well. I would I would also take Luca. I think I'd take Luca. I think yeah. I, you can build a good enough team around him, even though his defense absolutely sucks. You can build enough team a good enough team around him to combat that. So I'll this really Luka. should show you how ridiculous of a prospect Wimby is if we just rattle off this Thanks. many players and it's like a lot of them are like no brainers, like no. I, I I'll keep my pick. Thank you. <laughs> bang the line on the GM. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one might hit your heart a little bit. You know what I mean? Jason Tatum. Yeah. <laughs> 24. JT. Four fan MVP voting. He's 25 years old. So. I thought he was 19. Good. You know, he's, <laughs> he still has. He didn't even hit his prime. He's only 19, bro. Um, so He's technically. Because of P. Like the way. Like people say. Your prime technically starts when you're like 27. That's when people say like you're at the peak of your power. So technically, he is not in his prime. He's not. So. It, athletically, I actually learned this from my strength coach in college. Your tendons get the most elastic from like ages like 27 is like peak elasticity. And then like it starts downgrading from there. So what you're saying is I can still make the league? Shit, bro. You got to get in the lab. Say that. Say that. <laughs> oh, <Man. clears throat> dang! Tatum or Wemby? Oh man! <laughs> I still almost want to take Wemby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I really do. I. My gut feeling is just like Wemby feels like even if you even if it's wrong, he doesn't hit the crazy expectation. It's like you gotta try. <laughs> you gotta see. You gotta see if it's not. You gotta see. Yeah, I I take Wemby. JT is tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's up there with Shay. It's like the hardest, hardest no. So I think. The whole time you were talking, I was trying to think of my answer, and I still don't have my answer. <laughs> I think I low key might take Tatum, bro. Just like I, I think, like I said, he's still. I know he's been in. The, it seems like he's been in the league forever, just because they've been in the Eastern Conference Finals damn near every year. But it's like he's still only twenty five. Like, yep. man, I think I might take Tatum. I, I wouldn't fault I'd, you. I, I think uh, I might take Tatum. <clears throat> It's just the that upside. I'm literally looking at a picture of him right now. It's like, bro, this dude is seven five, bro. Listen, I just, I do not blame you at all. But all right, these are gonna get interesting because a lot. There's just a lot of factors with these. Like mm-hmm. obviously, these we're getting into like the top five players. You know what yeah. I mean? But there's a lot of factors that go into them. So mm-hmm. I'll start out with this one: Joel Embiid. Right now, give me Wemby. Wow, the MVP of the league. Only MVP ain't made a conference finals, man. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. You know what's even tougher? I'm agreeing with you. Give me Wemby. <laughs> <laughs> give me Wemby. Yeah. What? It's not like a no-brainer, but, like, give me Wemby, bro. Give me Wemby. Because Embiid right. already got the injury concerns. Exactly. See, that's why I say it gets tougher because it's yeah. not just not just like I feel like because we're gonna make this a clip. People are gonna be on our heads like Joel and B just came off of da da da, especially with these other players. The age is more of, is a concern with some of these players mm-hmm. and the injury concern. It's like if we're already having injury concerns with who do we talk about? Uh, like with like a John Morant. It's like then give me the guy that has best like best player ever upside. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. we're already going to have injury concerns. We might as well go for the craziest upside possible. Right. Now, this one is interesting. Kevin Durant. One B, he's too old. Okay, I agree. I agree. But, oh, my God, they're going to be on our heads for that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, they're <laughs> they're just like, come on. You, if you are a GM, you have the opportunity to draft a – what is he, 18 year old, 19 year old, 19, seven mm-hmm. foot five, my player to your team, or get a 34 year old Kevin Durant 
who just had Achilles tear, just spent what was it two months out of this season with a knee sprain. Boy slipped on a banana pill, rolled his ankle. He don't do calf raises, like <laughs> <laughs> just but like just like jokes aside, like realistically, it's like <laughs> you're getting a couple years at the back half of the best of KD versus the start to a career of someone that is literally probably the third or fourth biggest prospect the NBA has ever seen realistically behind like LeBron, Kareem, like he's in rare air in terms of how coveted of a prospect he is. Mm -hmm. Like just the opportunity of that, you have to take the chance on. Yeah, I agree. I Uh, agree. But you know, this, I'm they gonna be on our heads. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. They gonna be on our heads, and I'm for it. I don't care. Yeah. It is what it is. But <clears throat> all right, Steph Curry, Wemby. It's just age. It's just age. This one is tough because I think and you could be. I could be completely wrong. Steph Curry just seems like one of those not humans. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, <laughs> he's thirty five and he plays like he's like twenty eight. Like he doesn't seem like he just had even, probably his best year ever. I said like he don't even seem like. But it's like you just said it. He's thirty five. He's gonna see me playing like this at thirty eight. Even if he plays like this to bro forty, that's five years. In five years, Wembenyama is gonna be twenty four. You got another decade after that. And he still might be in his prime, you know? Like, that's 15, 15 years versus five. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Man. Oh, my God. This is hard, bro. Because, like, like I said, he just – Steph has some injury concerns, I guess. You could say that. Like, he, early in his career, he was had, like, the ankle problems. Even this year, he got hurt. Didn't he have like a shoulder thing? He got hurt. Mm-hmm. Like, is he hurt his shoulder or something? Yeah. I'll take Wimby, man. God. Like, like, bro, like this is like, it's Steph Curry. It's like, well, this is the greatest shooter ever, a top 10 player ever. What's that? We're going to take Wimby Yama over him just off of the sheer fact that, like, this dude potentially could be like, one of the greatest players unlike ever. Unlike something we've ever seen. I know it's for real when you're literally – like, you have NBA reporters that's been covering the league for four-plus decades. Like, can you give me a comp? And they're like, no, I don't know what to tell you. He plays like – I've never seen something like it before. In my 40-plus years of watching the sport at the professional level, for my job, I cannot tell you that he – like, I can't even give you someone – in that realm, we've never seen anything like it. All right, Giannis Antetokounmpo. So now we've reached there. I'm assuming the only people left is him and Jokic, right? Yeah, <laughs> I will take Giannis, I will take Jokic because in my head, I always have the thought process of it's always worth it to get the championship people want clown the lakers because they were good they got the ring and then whatever the team was bad for the next couple years Mm -hmm. as a cowboys fan bro i don't care if we was the worst nfl team for the next 40 years (laughs) if we got one super bowl (laughs) just one it feel worth it to me Giannis and Jokic are guys who right now in this second for the next feels like this season, the next foreseeable two to three years, minimally they're on your team. You are a contender. If you put a mildly competent roster around them, but like outside of what happened with Giannis this year, and obviously he got injured, but Mm -hmm. seeing what Jokic is doing right now, putting up one of the most ridiculous postseason runs we've ever seen. We know that Giannis is already an NBA champion. And he had a ridiculous postseason run. Put up 50 to close out the Suns in game six of that, that finals. To me, you get either one of those guys. It's like you're doing the same type of thing where you're like trading away your assets to go all in. And that feels like a super safe bet to do it for a guy like Jokic or Giannis. So those two and Luka, I guess, are the only three players 
that I would maybe trade the number one overall pick for. Okay, that's so. Isn't that that was the thing that was making it tough with Steph? Because I feel like Steph is also in that conversation of like you put him on your team, you're a championship contender, but he's thirty five. These guys are both right. twenty eight. Like, yeah, that's a that is big a difference. Game. That's a huge difference. So. So so far you said so the only players in the league that you will not trade for Wimbyama is Jokic, Giannis, and Luca. Yeah. Right. You said you said you're trading for Tatum, right? No, I took Wimby. Okay. I think I said all of the same, but I think I still I said all of the same except I would keep Tatum. Just because of the fact that he's 25. Like he's still very, very young. 